mainly inhabited by the Rabhas, the Bodos, the Garos, the Hazons, the Kochras Bungsis, the Kulitas, and more, is the land of the union of diverse tribes and cursed abound with cultural and natural scenic beauty in the lower Assam. To the south of the mighty river Brahmaputra bank spreads across the unique land of the Ravasong Autonomous Council. To make the earnest desires of my indomitable spirit a reality, I started off with a handful of necessities big in my backpack to explore the tourist attractions of the land of Rabahasong Autonomous Council. The morning was empty with no people on the street, open air filled with the greenery on the both sides of the road the plantations at some places and salt trees across the road that had many turns to its destination Chandavi. It was greenery, gum and a peaceful environment everywhere. A range of high and low hills, clean and crystal clear water in the lake, small and large trees all along the wetland, and echoing with the chirping of birds that fill the air. Far from the hustle and bustle of modernity, it is altogether a different environment, a different world. Motionless, I stand at the end of this woodland. Felt something nice about it. I have arrived at Chandavi. My first and main tourist spot of attraction is Chandavi Lake. It is about 33 kilometers from Mirja near Guwahati city. Chandavi, Nature's Wonderland. The origin of this name has many roots. To know more about this, I would like to introduce you with a renowned person of this locality. Chandavi, builder system or agote, a paladi kuchinu dito, buya hisil. Ar Chandavi builder bottoman builder majere. At a nudiasil, a duiparidi, kisun manuasil. He manubilake, he sanduvi eri chiri nudite, panisani kaisil, a re quinion salot, bohova curi, kitibati curiasil. He homer, yapara nudicon boizai. Kankor hagor purisil. Lower got on sort of the Kankor hagor, a rechoiga onluge, got the hagoriasil. He took Kankor hagor bushil. Hey, Saiga, Saiga, or Sorot, a don Dangor Hodagora Sil, Tion Nam Hot Sandu Hodagora. Are a Hodagore Saiga Opera, Sampok Nogoropora, a Kankor Hagor di Ujayahi, a Siri Nudidiahi, a Kine Pane Parbanejo Kurisil, Tiohi Palopra, Kikuban, Bustuva Hanidu Biblak paharot nae he bustu bilang luya hasil paharot manu bilang nami hasil paharot aja bilang aru tiolo ke kisuman paharu a gos kosoni luya hasil kisuman izi bilang ko puyamat na pate ni ko abal bustu bilang luya he ya te bini mo ikuri hasil aru tiolo sandu ada gore ahi pule ya te mana naoban hasil sandu ada gore di kine thay naoban hasil he kine thay sandor dingar Dubi buli kuchh chil. Dubi mana ya ta do thay dubi buli ko hai. He do thay kine chandur hota ko dubi buli kuchh chil. He titiar porai manohar mukhe mukhe chuli aise chandur dubi. 
সেই দিনার পরে সেই চান্দর ডুবি তামে এইখানে ঠাই পরিচিত হয়েছিল চান্দর কিন্তু বহুতে কয় যে এই চান্দর ডুবিত চান্দু ডাকরে যেটা নাও চলা হয়েছিল নাও চলা অহা সময়তে এই তাতে চান্দর ডুবিত চান্দু সদাগর ডু হেরি নাও তল তললে গেছিল তললে যাওয়া ডুবি যাওয়া বলে কয় সেই কারণে এই ঠাইখান নাম চান্দু ডুবি বলে কোয়া হয়েছিল On the other hand, some people say that the word Chandubi is derived from the Khasi word San Uble. San means five and Uble means deities. So, Chandubi meaning the living place of five gods and goddesses. According to the Forest Department in 1899, during the British rule's first planning report, 190 hectares area of monsoon forest of Burma, located in the southwest Kampur district on the 12th of June 1897 at about 5.15 p.m. An earthquake of 8.7 Richter scale shook the scenery and broke the river and sends its course. Presently, this is the river Kulsi. So to say, Chandubi is a land of deep dense forest and attractive marshland, along with a variety of living creatures and insects that makes it a unique habitat. In addition, there are creepers, orchids, and different kinds of medicinal plants and herbs are found. It's a thrill to move among the greenery. It just needs the desire to feel the gifts of nature. Moving in the scorching heat and winds, though physically tired, but my mind wasn't exhausted still. Every year, though thousands of tourists come to view the beauty of Chandubi, they aren't quite aware of some of the beautiful waterfalls that are just a few kilometers away due to lack of publicity about them. So viewers, I would like to take you to some of them. Solkadar. This impressive waterfall is located at Barigao village popularly known as Barigao Waterfall Tour, around 7 km from Chandubi towards southwest direction, a perfect place to spend time during holidays. After that, I ride towards the next side. As I was riding my bike, I enjoyed the entire environment. My heart knew no bounds. And my mind, my mind compelled me to stop the bike over a bridge. This is such a beautiful landscape. In our childhood, whenever our school teachers ask us to draw a beautiful natural scenery, we used to draw a hill, a river coming of it, some trees, cows and birds, etc, etc. After seeing this location, it brings me back to my childhood. Within a few minutes, I arrived at the last point of Ranikamar on the way to Kafadonga waterfall and decided to pass through the river on a boat.
to be noted. Those people who love to take can take the forest route. Even after taking the ball, one needs to hike across the rough hill route to reach the waterfall. However, I can assure you that after getting the spot, you will not feel any tiredness. The sun was about to set in the western sky and slowly it's getting dusk. Though there was tourist loads available near the lake and other ecotourism camps, yet I preferred to stay at Jupangbari Ecotourism Camp, not too far from Chandubile. Sitting beside firewood in a chilling January night, sipping a cup of country wine and enjoying bites of roasted local fish, it is indeed a cherishing experience altogether. Early morning. The next day, I woke up to move towards Ukiam, that lies in the frontier of the Assam Meghalaya border. I could have taken the path that people use us for everyday transportation. But I decided to travel through the village routes instead. With this reason born in mind, I inquired the passers-by about the way. And they supported me with much encouragement. Though some say that the condition of the path was not quite good. It was not in my veins to get away from problems, but to face them and 
to retreat half away was out of question. So I firmly decided to move ahead. I reached the bank of the river with excitement and found there was no bridge to move across the other side. All that was was just a little boat. With the help of the boatman, somehow I managed to get my bike on the boat and set sail. Though I felt a bit nervous at first, the boatman comforted me and made me easy. Though I knew it was not out of peril. Anyway, we managed to reach the other bank without much worry. It was an amazing experience altogether, unforgettable. Started my bike again and moved to my destination. After covering a long distance, I felt thirsty. So, without any hesitation, I entered a house nearby the road and asked for water. I quenched my thirst and got to know I was about to reach Ukiya within a couple of minutes. At last, I reached Ukiam and come to the confluence of the three rivers, namely Gaga, Sri and Dron. Now let me show you all the three rivers one by one. As you can see, this is the river Dron. The water body of the river meets Gaga and Srinodhi at this point. And this is the another confluence wherein Gaga and Srinodi meet. Many calls Gaga River as Kakring also. After meeting all the three rivers, they take another name, a new name called Kulsi River that moves down the plains to the mighty river Brahmaputra and to the sea. At present, I am standing in the bank of Srinodi, the river that has been recognized as the border separating Assam and Meghalaya. And this is that bridge 
that has forgotten its age and has been selflessly observing its responsibility for binding the people of Assam and Meghalaya by sharing its bond for many, many decades. Okiam is located in the Kamrup rural district, 27 kilometers from Soegam, bordering Assam and the South. It is known that every year from November up to the end of February, thousands of people flock to this place to feel the touch of beauty that nature offers here. Though my mind did wish to leave Ukya, but it was time to say bye. With a heavy heart, I started off when it was about to die. After Ukiam, my next target is Parvati Bahar. It is hard that the beauty of the sunrise at Parvati Hill is aesthetic, exhilarating. To view what the exhilarating beauty is, I am going to take you all to there right now. Now I have reached at the foothill of Parvati Bahar. Without losing much time, let's move up the hill. It's interesting. I have never ever thought, ignoring the severe cold and darkness, I would hike up a hill like this. It's a very Unique, unique and unique experience for me. <laughs> On the top of the hill, there is a temple of Goddess Parvati. So, it is known as Parvati Mandir or Parvati Temple also.
Now I have reached the summit of Parvati Pahar. Though it's so tiring, I am feeling fresh, energetic and happy. Parvati Pahar is located at Jarikuri Forest Reserve in Boku. It is about 59 kilometers from Jalukbari flyover Guwahati. This is the hot touching and exhilarating beauty of the sunrise at Parvati Pahar. Far beyond my imagination. Admire its heartwarming beauty. I have realized in order to learn the lesson from nature one just needs to have a keen interest, observant and patient. I got lost in myself about the mesmerizing beauty of Parvati Bar without my realization. I would like to tell you one thing more is that the site at Parvati Hill senses its views at different times of the year with sensing seasons. Doikorozai, Zetia Zogopatisile, Teon Zia Hoti, Nimonon Koranasi, Aru Hoti, Dutakor, Zogopata Huni, Takibu Noari, Zogot Soliloahe, Aru Teon Diki, Hoti Diki, Doikorozai, Teon Giroko Kloi, Orta Mohadebo. Loi, Bohuto, Tiroskar, Porsona Kore, Aru Eko Tatu Huni, Hutie, Logeloge, Detia Kore, Aru Eko Hobo to Pai Mohadebe, Kongo Ogni Horma Hoi, Itahid Gian, Heruai Teo, Zogos Tuliloizai, Aru Hotir Mito de to Kantot Loi, Teo Dek Bideke, Manakuri Puribo to Rile Pagulo Dore, Tetia Sidisnoi, a Palo Pora Hotir de to Hudorhan Sokore, Kati Goyasil, Tetia. Hotir, Jonangor, Eti, Onko, Estano, Purizai, Aru Otijore Pura, Puzar Sonakoria, Hiese. Amare Parbuti Munditu, Amar Jari Kuri, Rizako, Ontoboto, Zoro, Upahona, Titosta. Parbuti Mondiro, Jitu Hundujo, Ritu Bikika Taman Holoni Hitake, Arupi Garone, Hudzo Udo Arupuzasto, Eduta Diso Swar Garone, Eta Manuor, Homagomto, Agotu Bisivisi.
Once again, I pushed the total of my bike to hit another hot spot of my bucket list. I rode along the path road that was laid out like a long black ribbon in the middle of green forest. It felt like the trees on the both sides of the road were giving me a warm welcome to Rabahasong Autonomous Council. Songalai, popularly known as Huwa. From Jalukbari flyover Guwahati to Rajapara, it is about 65 kilometers. And from that whistle stop via Bondapara Malangtinali, heading 16 17 kilometers towards the south at the frontier of Assam Meghalaya, the youngest daughter of modern Asia, Huwa, is located. Mind-boggling, words are not enough to express. I moved through the twist and turning roads of the dwelling place of Rava and Garu community. The Garu people of this region are mainly dependent on agriculture. They usually do jhum cultivation or sifting cultivation on the slopes of the hills. However, with the increase in population, they have adopted the same method as the plains. Meanwhile, I reached near the waterfall and parked my bike at the foothill. I started to hike up just for a few minutes and stopped in front of the waterfall. Actually, this is the right time for visiting Huhua during the year. It isn't necessary to think so. Put such questions out of your mind because there is no particular time or season during the year in which one cannot visit this promising waterfall. Uhatu tamane nikwa o kho paharor hilere baguri ahi pani tu tamane hile hile theka khai jitu hobdo hoy ho ho hobdo hoy e hitur gane aji olop kali olop manu blage kongte kongte ekebere last ot jay huhuai nam par te huhuatu actually Amar Likito Homeatu Zolopropate Hoy, in the Amar Manuzane Huaboli. In the Aru Exini Manue, Kuyasese, Songadare, Songamane Hall, Gote Panikini Got Kai, Situ on Solopro Pani Got Kai, Ekeloga He. He took Songago, Aru Dare Mane, Pani Zitu Taniza Hot Pore, he to Darekoi. Songadare Aro, Huaboli, I mean, on Solomon Blaga Sobezane, Aru Yarpres of Prosarito, who says, Huhua. I was stunned and silent at the dazzling appearance of the stream. No force in the world can cover up this bright hue of Huhua. I couldn't help but move forward even further. Suddenly, the water particles flew in the air and touched me. I was thrilled to see this beauty of nature. The sun was already setting in the western sky, so I started my journey again. The journey started again. Now, my next goal is to Kresuri Devaloy or temple. 
a beautiful destination near Krishnai under Ravasong Autonomous Council. To Kreshwari Temple, it is very easily accessible, situated just beside Goa to Gualpara Road, National Highway 17. It is about 126 km from Guwahati and only 17 km from Gualpara. As soon as I started climbing the hill, I saw the newly established statue of Lord Shiva between two rocks. One thing to note is that it is visited by the tourists and pilgrims all year round. Last but not the least, just before climbing the stairs and reaching the top, a rock carving came into view. Right opposite to it, there is another statue. Both of these statues are popularly known as Joy Bijoy, the gatekeeper of Goddess Parvati. Another notable feature of Tukrishri temple is that it is inhabitant of numerous Assamese makers. Look at this. It's so cute. It's a pleasant experience for me. <laughs> they are fighting with each other. It is common sight that both the temples at the foothill and top of the hills are always surrounded by monkeys. There is an existence of king-queen custom among the monkeys of the Tukrisuri hill. Dukkorodai hibohin jaggyo ekhon pati sile. Aru khay jaggyo hibok nimonton kora huwa na sile. Khay bina nimontonot hotiye deuta kol ghoror jit jaggyo khay jaggyo goy upostit hoy sile. Tad goy jitiya atol sami mahadebo ba hibok jitiya bohot tiroskar kora arambo kori le dukkoror jai tetiya hotiye tad dihot tyak kori sile. Kotha tu jitiya hiboy kompale hiboy tetiya teol ho de tu kandot tuli loy. पृथ्वी दोखो देख खुरी फुरी बोले ढोरे ने ते नुका अवस्था बीस नो इतने और खुदर खंड सक्रो एरी दी होती देहोल अंको बिलक टुकुरा टुकुरु टुकुरा टुकुर के काटे पहलाई सिल पृथ्वी जोते ये अंको पोरी से ताते एको खंड के पीड़िस्तान हुए से अमी जानू ऐखन मोते जे एकान्नो पीठ तार उपोरियो साबिश आरु खेब शख्लोक लोये अजियोत्तु कुरे सुरी दे बालाई आजिर पुज्जेल लोये पुजितो होया से आरु ये ता यार कहिनी जोरी तो होया से जे यार टोकोर बुली एगोरा की विद्धो गोरो किया है होता है गोरु सारी बोलाई एक ही रिथाई लोया हिसिल आरु जितिया ही रिथाई लोया हिसिल होंडिया जितिया गोरु लोई जाए तेरे ऐसो नहीं गाय है यार पूरा आपुन आपुन ही नुहा हुआ है ये दिन दो दिन कोई एक घटना तो घटी थोकर पिशोत है गोरो की आए गोई गिरोस्तो कथा तो अबोगतो कोरी ले ये दिन गिरोस्तो है कथा तो विश्वास न कोरी पहलाई गोरो की अलगोट गुसिया ही ले गुसिया ही देखी ले जब गाय जो नहीं त्याग ओन बिजनी राजस्थान जमीदार तथा रोजा कुमुन्नारनों को अभगत करा ले, हैं कुमुन्नारों ने तेतियाँ यह ऐता मंदिर बादेबालों प्रतिष्ठा करे दिसे। होटलों को होटी का प्रतिष्ठा हुआ, एटुकरे सुरे देबालों रोजा दिनिया परंपरा उखुन्नो रखी, आजियो, हैं रोजा दिनिया परंपरा रे 
পূজা পাতল বলি বিধানের ব্যবস্থা আজিও চলি আছে টুকরেশ্বরী দেবালয় মহা ধুমধামে আয়োজন করা হয় দুর্গা পূজা এই দুর্গা পূজাত মহানবমীর দিনাখন মহ বলি দিয়ার প্রথা সেই রোজা দিনের পরে চলি আছে অকল এই কাহিনীটোয়ে নহয় ইয়ার লগত বিক্ষিপ্ত কাহিনীর কথা মনে কোয়ে যে ইয়ার লগত রাভাসল যুকুরি আই গীত বলে জনাজাত মূলত সে দেও পূজার গীত হয় সেই দেও পূজার গীতর ইয়ার যদি তান্ত্রিকতার যদি পূজার যদি সম্পর্ক সেই সম্পর্কটা একই বলে পণ্ডিত সকলে ঠাওর করেছে টুকরেশ্বরী দেওয়ালয় ইজ আ মাইলস্টন অফ রাভাসং অটোনমাস কাউন্সিল ইন দ্য সেক্টর অফ ট্যুরিজম বাট ইট ইজ ভেরি স্যাড দ্যাট লাইক দ্য টু স্ট্যাচুজ অফ জয় এন্ড বিজয় দেয়ার আর টু আদার স্টোন আইডলস দ্যাট আর লাইং ইন আ ভেরি নেগলেক্টেড কন্ডিশন ইট ইজ নোন দ্যাট The rock sculptures are contemporary with the rock sculptures of the Sri Surya Hill. With a heavy heart, I moved towards my next spot. Today, it's a warm and attractive day. Like the other day, also today, I set up my journey early in the morning. Passing a long distance, I felt a little stiff. So, I stopped my bike in front of a small traditional tea stall and went inside. The shopkeeper brought some malpua in a beautifully woven handmade bamboo basket. Drinking the milk tea, I become refreshed and active again. I have reached Dadan Thun. This Thun was built in memory of Dadan, the first emperor of Rabha tribe of Assam. It is situated 153 km from Guwahati and 19 km from Agia. Entering through the gate and hiking up a few stairs, my eyes stuck on a statue. My curious mind hypnotized over me and drew me closer. After that, I have forwarded my steps towards the Thaan. Thaan means temple. Giving homage at the entrance, I walk through the empty house of the temple. As a tradition, I rang the bell hanging over there. Inside the temple, at the altar, the statue of warrior Dodan and Maruketri has been placed. Dodan Raja, Amar Rabha Jati Bilakor Adi Raja. আর তখেতর পিতৃ নাম আসিল হাহা আর মাতৃ নাম আসে হুহু আর বর্তমান আমি রাভা জাতি সকলে তখেতক আমি আরাধনা করো পূজা করো দোদান বান রাজার সেনাপতি আছে হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ হরিহর যুদ্ধ হল হরি আর হর After leaving Sonitpur, the kingdom of King Ban, Dodan had to face conflicts 
and struggles in every step of his life. That is a long history. But the example he set by ignoring all the obstacles and fighting with confidence every time will be remembered forever. Every year, from Sukla Ostomi Titi to Dosumi Fagun, according to Assamese calendar, collective worship has been held at this place since 1971 in memory of Lord Siva and Dodan. Now I have arrived at Dudnoi, the center point of Rabahasan Autonomous Country. Every day, I am traveling from one tourist spot to another. I am fascinated by the beauty of each place again and again. The bitter cold of January hasn't stopped my body and mind at the slightest. If the mind is focused, no force can stop you from achieving your goal. This is the place Sri Surya Bahar, a famous place for tourism as well as pilgrimage. Come on, let me take you to the place from where the name Sri Surya Bahar was derived. This is the place where the stone slab of Sri Sarja was found. It is known that a couple of decades before, the circular carving stone slab was unearthed at the foothill of Sri Surya Pahar. Later, the stone slab was identified as Lord Surya, one of the main deities of Hinduism. So, the place implies Sri Surya Pahar itself afterwards. Near to this place, on the plain, I got to see a large shape of Buddha Stupa. From here, heading towards south direction, there is Ganeshkun. There are several Sivalingas scattered around. I have moved forward. This time, I arrived in front of a natural cave created by some large rocks. I looked up and saw several numbers of giant beehives. Yet, ignoring my fear, I went inside carefully and saw two stone statues standing in praising mood carved in a large granite rock. I left the cave and started climbing the stairs to the top of the hill with 
and inquisitive mind. About seven, eight minutes of climbing, I arrived in front of a small cave. The figure carved in sitting posture has been identified as Adinath of Janeji. The word Ad means first, and Nath means Lord. Next to this, I arrived at another temple ground near the management committee and saw a perfectly carved stone statue of Hunuman inside. Then I reached another place at a foothill which is known as Dadosa Puja or 12 handed Devasthan. In addition to this idol, there are several statues and shivalingas at this place. And two rocks lying nearby is cut like a calf inside, with an idol of Lord Ganesh in front. There is one shivalinga in its calf. A person can easily enter the cave and can perform the worship. Even I have noticed there is a hole in both rocks for liquids to drain out. When I came upstairs, I was surprised. There are not only idols of Hindu gods and goddesses, but there are also many Buddha stupas scattered here and there. This time, I visited two adjacent ruins of 40 by 100 square feet, discovered during the recent excavation in which archaeologists believed to be Buddhist monastery. In addition, a large number of stone sculptures and burnt clay artifacts carved from the ancient period have been recovered, which have been dated between the 6th and 12th AD. I was amazed to visit the entire area of Sirichuria Hill and got to know the most important significance of Sirichuria Pahar is that it is 
a conjunction of three religions, namely Hinduism, Buddhism, and Jainism. It is to be noted that many Buddha stupas of various shapes, large and small, have been found in the entire area of Sri Surya Hill. The stupas that curve out of rock are especially of two types, cylindrical and hemispherical. On the way back, I felt as if someone was shouting to me. Look thoroughly, you will find a history in my heart. Come and rescue your lost past buried in my movable heart.